What's up, YouTubers? It's me. Welcome back. It's episode three. Episode three? We're gonna go do some testing. Let's go. Oh, that delayed onset of spew. 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds of suffering. <laughs> That was easy, Paul. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> to touch base about this week and testing and stuff that's scheduled for Saturday, Sunday. I don't know what happened last week because I, I just tried to be as consistent as humanly possible and I think it was. But I don't know if the volume was too high or just, I don't know. I didn't rest. I don't know, my rest was pretty good. I think I've been quite stressed at work and I think that's been like quite detrimental to to my yeah. motivation to be honest. The week before was big and probably mm -hmm. bigger than I planned and intended kind of thing but then that's how it goes because you, 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 you've got stuff to do at work kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it was five and a half hours on the bike yeah. two days in a row. Yeah. yeah. 220 TSS, first day, 210 the second day. Yeah. Thursday was high again. So there was kind of just over half that, but like, that's still high. So like that was a big week. So really, it's no surprise that the week after, we're <laughs> tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then if you add in everything else, so it's hypertrophy, so that's pretty destructive, yeah. physically. Mm -hmm. um, and like you say, the stuff you've been doing work-wise, and you did that podcast and everything as well that week, didn't you? So like, yeah, that was a late night. Yeah, so yeah, all of that added together. It's just, it's just like we were saying last year, that you're only, you're almost superhuman, but you're not quite there. <laughs> 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 you're not quite, quite superhuman, so you're still, you're still mortal, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you, um, you've got limits, essentially. Mm -hmm. Big limits, but you've got limits. So, and you've got to respect them. And, if we have a week like that, then we either decide to back off or the wheels fall off and you have to back off. You know? yeah. The rest of the week looks kind of like chill other than base so that we're ready for testing on the weekend. But is that bike power testing or is that gym testing? Like one at max stuff? That's going to be bike, bike power testing. So similar to the stuff we did last year. Ah, okay. And then... Yeah, and then your RM testing probably does your first, the first of your next blocks gym sessions. I can see that. So probably do that next Tuesday when you're in the gym. Okay. And then there's one thing I want to sneak in there somewhere and I'm trying to work it out where. A six second repeat thing, so you do six seconds as hard as you can, mm -hmm. and then you have sort of minimal rest, mm -hmm. like about 30, 30 seconds kind of thing, mm -hmm. and you go again, and you do it six to eight times. And then, 68 times, and Jesus. 628. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six, 68 would work. <laughs> it's, a, it's a neuromuscular test, but it's going to be it'll be underpinned by your aerobic um, capacity and fitness. So it's kind of a measure in a way of your ability to recover through your aerobic system. Yeah, sounds sounds quite exciting. I like this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, Anything over six seconds isn't so much fun. Saturday will be a 12 minute test and a three minute test, mm -hmm. and Sunday will be a five minute test and a one minute test. Okay. So it won't take you too long, but it's over two days. Yeah. So it depends. Like, have you got, what, how's your weekend? Is it, is it fairly free or have you got uh, what yeah. you planned? Yeah, it's pretty free. Cecile's arriving tonight. Oh, of course. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, I can obviously fit in training, and I might I might film this weekend if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, which would be cool. So I might get her to wheel the camera. Cool. Um, because I I want to share some of the testing stuff. I think it's cool to see. 
Okay, sweet. That's a plan. Fine. Okay. Well, enjoy uh, the gym. Don't <laughs> drink. <laughs> ah, well, it's only three minutes out. <laughs> okay, I'll speak to you before the weekend and we'll make a plan. But thanks for the call. Appreciate you. Cool. Cheers. You too. Have a good one. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. What are we doing today? Testing. Do you need a lens clean? Beautiful. It's bare. Uh, we are at Glentress with Ride Strong, Mr. Ride Strong, my strength and conditioning and fitness coach, Paul. Uh, we're doing some power tests, just two tests this morning and then this similar thing tomorrow. A three, a three minute and a 12 minute average power test, basically just like max efforts. But uh, yeah, excited to get stuck in. I need to do a warm up, so I'm gonna go. Um, and I hope you enjoy me spewing my guts up. Just the activation. Oh, Ow. Too much power, eh? Close those bad boys up. Yeah. Have you got any chain loop? <laughs> no. Just asking for a snap chain and <laughs> Ah well. At least we're not doing like another six seconds. That felt a bit sketchy. I just close on one minute, think I'm gonna go harder, should it be going easier? Then adjust for that. And then at two minutes do the same again, should it be going harder? Do I need to go a little bit easier? Kind of thing. And just get as much out as you can. Three minutes. Average over three minutes. Three minutes of hell. Yeah, how was that, bro? Quite hard. I've not seen my breakfast yet, though. Which is unusual for me. Ça va bien, merci. Et toi? Ah, super. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, man. How are you feeling? You just dig deep, and it's hard. But it is only three minutes or 12 minutes, like it's over. And like Paul, the thing that Paul and I have been working on most is like not going hell for leather at the gate. Like it's like pace and stuff because I love to just blow myself to bits but it's not repeatable and it's not achievable to like do 15 minute stages and stuff like that. So that's been the biggest learn for me and I'm still learning, still really working on it. How are you approaching the 12 minutes? Are you keeping an eye on, on your output or just yeah, going well, by feel? Like, yeah, we, we've discussed numbers that I should be hitting. So I just like aim for those and just every every marker, every minute, just kind of judge how you feel. But it's hard because 12 minutes is quite a long time. Even three minutes feels like an age when you're blowing out your arse, but just get it over and done with. And then we can go eat pizza. Enjoy yourself. I guess as the athlete, it's quite easy to be hard on yourself, but from your point of view, how's he getting on? Uh, as usual, he pushes himself probably harder than most people. <laughs> so he's always going 120% no matter what he does. And like he was just saying, it's mainly within us about, not while he's testing, so obviously he wants to do as hard as he can, but in general training, uh, it's about mediating what he does slightly so he's more consistent over time. I'm so snotty. How are you feeling? I'm kind of disappointed in that one. Oh. But that's life. You looked like you had plenty left in the tank when you went past me. Yeah, I was about four minutes at you, and it was 12 minutes, so I just. I paced it good, but see when the road kind of like flattens out, you really should like knock down some gears to keep that like same power. But it's so nice to just like sit like, oh, this is nice. So I let that happen a wee bit. That's emotions, you don't, it doesn't matter really, it's like where you are is where you are. Yeah. <laughs> Said that and then improved from it. It was alright, like I paced it well, but just my numbers weren't kind of what I want. But I think that's fine because we've got five months. <laughs> At the beginning, it's just the pace. 
I knew that we weren't going to be doing anything groundbreaking today. But uh, I guess the goal was to get a baseline of where we're at. We've got a similar thing tomorrow. Which I think was going to be a little bit more up my street. What are we doing tomorrow? Uh, five and one. Five and one, okay. I don't know, the five, I did a good number five last time on five. That gives me a bit of confidence. And then one's awesome. We're going to do some groundbreaking things tomorrow on one minute. Famous last words. Gains. Gains. Gain my belly. Day two. Let's go. What a piece. Well, Paul's back. The media budget has been severely cut today. Well, got us. This is it. <laughs> it was such a shock to the system. I was like, oh my god, I've not done an effort, really. Like, we've done 30 30s on the static bike. So that's the hardest, longest effort we've done. Huh? Like 2,500. Yeah. What do you want to do? The first 15 seconds sprinting out the saddle. Okay. Second 15 seconds sprinting in the saddle. And the rest is just hanging on to grim death. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> Can we go straight into it now? Yeah, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds of suffering. I like minutes. I like a minute. I feel like I can dig deep there. Yeah. But the last five were hard. You need 15 minutes of just pedaling around there. Thanks. Just recover, stick around. Okay. And there. All right. You get an idea. Seven, six, nine. It's all right. Eight hundred would have been sick. We move. Oh, that delayed onset of spew. Okay, so that's the one minute over. I like that distance to sprint, to do an effort. I can hang on pretty good. I felt measured. I'm actually happy with that number. The number is irrelevant. But it's not. Because I'm competitive, even if it's just with myself. And I think, regardless of the number though, the fact is, you're always going to be wanting to do more than what the number says. Because you want to be better than you always are. That growth mindset, you know. I just don't want to come off too fast like yesterday. Five minutes, right? Ah. 
Nice. Oh. I'm happy with how much effort I put in then. Not too bad. Okay, so two efforts done. I just said to Paul Lewis, who's Paul's next victim, that I felt way more relaxed and happy going into today's tests than yesterday. That was the first hard effort that I've done um, in a very long time. Uh, so today it wasn't so much of a shock to the system, I think, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna spin the legs, head home, get some food, and spend some time chilling. Thanks. Lewis off. Hand Paul over to you now. Have fun. Yeah. Just uh, a quick shout out to Liam, Finley, and Kerry for for helping film some of this stuff. Uh, kindly came along and watched me struggle. So yeah, big up to them. Uh, little recap, I guess. Like I think I already said was. I'm the type of person that always wants to be making progress, feeling like I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. So to go and put out a super hard effort like that on any test, like completely give your all as you would, um, and to feel like you've not made massive progress from the last time you tested is, is pretty demoralizing. Um, but. I think Paul and I have a really good relationship and we have a very good like plan and, and like I said we're, we're so far out from the season we've got loads of time from now until the first block of races that I've got scheduled so like on second thoughts I, I don't feel bad at all like I'm putting out equal to what I was last time we tested which wasn't bad numbers at all but I've just got super high expectations for myself like I said already so I'm yeah, I've kind of had a bunch of time to reflect and, and, and think about the testing and stuff. It's just made me more motivated to, to stick at it and get more consistent and put the graft in, I guess. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy a little bit of an insight into, into the testing process that Paul and I go through. And uh, again, shout out to the guys who helped point a camera at me struggling my struggling my way through those tests and um, I've got two pretty exciting new bikes from Nukeproof um, that we'll unveil shortly um, so keep an eye on that it's pretty pretty exciting and as always do all that YouTube she follow me whack a couple comments below if you have any questions or want to know more about anything whether it be training work coaching, lifestyle, music, all that stuff. Keen to keep it going. I know it's been two weeks, so I've just been super busy. I actually filmed this last weekend and I've just been slammed with work. Um, so only finally getting around to it now. Big up everyone and keep it real.